Hi everyone, this is Liam Morgan Birch reporting for Kids First. Today we're reviewing the cute and adorable classic cartoon, Guess How Much I Love You, The Song of Spring. This is a cute and adorable animated series that are short and just adorable for the entire family. I think that this is absolutely cute and it is now on DVD. I'm brought to you by Ed Circle Entertainment. This is the cutest movie that I've seen in for a while. They have cute, fun, and fast episodes, and then it's kind of actually easy to kick back, relax, get some popcorn, and actually enjoy with the family. And your face will hurt after you're giggling and laughing. And this is just in time for spring. Spring is coming just around the corner, and so is Easter. And this hair, I'm telling you, is the best one to get you in the mood for Easter and spring. I actually thought, oh my gosh, I can't wait until the flowers bloom because of how many there were in this meadow. Now, in this film as well, they also show you great ways to play a game called Guess How Much I Love You. You get to see quirky ways of saying how much you love your loved ones or your friends. Like, how many bugs there are in the meadow, how big the moon is if you were a giant owl, and so many more. You'll have to watch the show to find out what they are. And they're hilarious! And it's fun and lovable game that I think everybody should play because it basically shows just how much we love each other. Now this is a cute and adorable film. It comes with seven episodes. And I have to say my favorite was probably The Little Green Worm. It was hilarious because I was laughing and giggling and smiling so hard because they thought that The Little Green Worm, well, they thought it was a worm, but really it was a caterpillar. And it was also a little sad, too, because the little caterpillar turned into a butterfly, and they didn't get to say goodbye, but then he luckily comes back, and you'll have to see the rest. Now, this is just cute and adorable, and the details in the backgrounds were just exquisite. They were amazing and breathtaking. I have this book at home, and I've loved it ever since I was a little, little kid. Ever since I was six, and I'm now 11, and I still love these books. And the, the show just brought out that beautiful fairy tale aspect. Like, I literally could have jumped in the TV and started playing in the meadow with all these beautiful characters that were just so much fun. And one of my favorite characters, I'd have to say, was Little Brown Hair. Nut Brown Hair, that is. He was absolutely so cute and quirky, and literally, he was just amazing to find out how much he's grown and changed from when he was little tiny to very big. It's just so cute. And this teaches you many great science lessons, and one of the best ones is, is that things change and grow up during time. So you just have to give them the right amount, and they'll soon be hopping along the way. I'd have to say the age range for this is three and up until about nine because this is a cute quirky film but older kids might still like it because of the great animation and so will adults but at the same time you might already know that it's basic science and that the lessons might get a little boring so i'd have to say that this film gets five out of five twinkling carrots and bunny hops as well so bye see you next time on kids first hope you have a great easter and a great spring season Bye!